This episode is brought to you by Workbox, getting ready to make a difference. All right, Hinda Barmeni, welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill. I am chilling with uh, Lindy. What's your surname, by the way? Rasikwala. Rasikwala. Yes. All right, so for those who might not know who you are, can you introduce yourself to my, to my chillers? Okie dokie. Um, I am Lindy. Some people may know me as Lindy underscore R um, on social media. I'm a mood enthusiast, a uh, content creator, and a sexual wellness coach. Wow. So, yeah. And I must me. say, I, I love the content you create. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which one in particular are you talking about? Because, you know, there's quite a few platforms that I'm on. <laughs> Uh, the one that's uh, over 18, 18 and above. Oh, um, okay. that's my shit. Cool. <laughs> See now, I never really know the people who like <laughs> follow me. Yeah. But thanks for informing me. Now I know. <laughs> so it's going to be awkward because you were telling me you're quarantining with your parents and stuff. So I don't know if we can really talk about some of the stuff I wanted to talk about. We can definitely talk about it. My parents do know. Um, but my mom's also like leaving. She's, I've told her, I don't know how comfortable she wants to do like or uncomfortable she wants to be, but they know about it. They know, they know as much as they can know. Like, they know exactly how I'm making my money and the platform that I'm on. Um, the extent of what I put out there, maybe not so much, but yeah, my parents are aware. All right, cool. So let's start with uh, OnlyFans. I don't know much about it. I don't even have an account mm-hmm. yet, uh, but I've seen it's okay. trending. A lot of people are on it. Well, what is that about? Um, so OnlyFans is basically a paid um, subscription platform for content. So it would be like Instagram, um, but people pay a monthly subscription to actually uh, like unlock your um, content. Some, some actually have free um, subscriptions, but you have to pay for the content um, individually. So yeah, it's just, it's just a different platform for, I guess, social media, but depending on what you want to put out there, a lot of people put um, sexual content, um, but not everyone. So it's just about what you want to put out there. A friend of mine was telling me, he said it's like YouTube, but for porn stars. <laughs> basically, basically, um, except, oof, I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, yeah, it is like that, except it's not only for porn stars. Would That's the pass- misconception that people have. They, they think that because you are putting out a certain type of content that you fall under the category of porn star. But um, it's, it would be sexual content or it can even be deemed as art. It just depends on how you're looking at it and what angle you're coming from. But obviously, people are there for different reasons. And what would you classify yourself as, as a porn star, uh, I don't know, a prostitute, um, or like just someone who's um, sexually liberated? Definitely someone who's sexually liberated. I think um, from the basic definition of prostitution, it's an exchange um, of sex for money, which I don't do. Um, What I really like about uh, OnlyFans is that it's from the comfort of my home. There's no one else involved except me. I don't get harassed. I don't have to actually physically engage with anybody um, and I'm getting paid. Um, It's also quite regulated in the sense that I know how much I could potentially be making depending on how many, you know, subscribers I have at a time. Um, it's quite a business. There's more, there's more to it. Um, not that prostitution or any other sex work isn't, yeah. but I think that uh, just the, the way in which you have to navigate the actual system is uh, a lot more than just an exchange for sexual favors or for sex in general. So, yeah. Excuse and, me. And, and what about, um, take me back to when you decided to join, because I know it was last year, December. Uh, yes. What you scared, like what people are going to say, or you're used to this because your Instagram is quite provocative. To be honest, I still get scared. Like I'm still like, like I said, um, and I don't know if you've seen my YouTube video where I actually explain um how to start an OnlyFans account, but I literally have got content out there that makes me feel a bit like, 
oh my gosh, I can't believe I picked that out there. Like it, 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 it yeah, it's it, sometimes like it compromises what you think you will or won't do. Um, so yeah, sometimes I still get scared. And I think that's also why I don't have a lot of content on my OnlyFans that falls under the category of, as you put it, porn, because it's, it's not what I want to really put out there. I'm body positive. I'm very confident about my body. Um, and I like to portray that. I like to show that I like to, um, see myself as art. And in other instances, I also like to feel sexy. So I like to put that stuff out there, but where the pressure comes in is where people expect a lot of sexual content from me. And so I'm like, oh. but at the same time, that's what makes the money. Who, who introduced so you to it? Um, so a lot of my uh, uh, Instagram followers, my international Instagram followers kept saying, have you heard of only, have you heard of only fans? Like, I think you'd be perfect for it. <laughs> like, it's just so much better that you like actually get paid for this content. So, and I was like, oh my gosh. And it was more than one. It was like three or four. And I was like, okay, maybe I should just like see what it is. And then a friend of mine, um, I'm actually going live with her um, on Instagram today. She went, she started OnlyFans and I just kept watching her and seeing her like, okay. And then she moved to the States based off money she had made over like two months or something like that. And I was like, okay, this is quite interesting, but still very apprehensive. I was still like, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm ready for this. It's a bit scary. But um, then I just took the plunge. I spoke to another friend, a guy friend who was saying that he was managing someone else's OnlyFans and how she was making quite a lot of money. So he thinks I should just go for it. And then I did it. Um, it was a bit slow at first and then it just boomed. But I think it's also because I already have a, a brand or a following rather yeah. on Instagram. I'm not, it's not a completely separate persona that I'm trying to like. And you're good looking. Yeah, you know, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So a lot of my, um, I kind of wanted to carry my subscribers or my followers with me. Um, also, I don't like to hide. Like, I just feel like sexual or f- liberation should not be hidden. If mm. you want to be free, be free. So I don't, I don't hide my face. I mean, I do hide my face, I think maybe for my videos, because it's just like, whoa, if I put a face to the action, it's just a lot. But with my nudes, people are already used to it. So I don't mind hiding or showing my face rather. So how, yeah. how much how much money are we making this? When you say there's a lot of money, how much money are you talking about? Look, I'm still like small play in comparison to what people have made. And this is now I'm talking South African content creators. But I've made like 66,000 or 70,000 wow. since December. You're kidding! <laughs> Yeah, that's I mean, obviously YouTube, difference. and you know YouTube. That's pretty good. Listen, for you. I have not made a single drop of money from YouTube, and that's why. And that's because my channel's age restricted, so age restricted pages don't necessarily get monetized. But that's why I think it's also so easy for me to not leave OnlyFans. I've contemplated it so many times, where I'm just like, this is so much pressure. I'm losing subscribers because I'm not posting frequently enough there's people who are posting like twice a day so I'm what, doing what it about like, like every... the, the 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 black coffees of these thing of this thing how much are they getting paid um well let's put it this way there's a girl who has got her only fans page free like the subscription is free but she can charge up to two thousand dollars for you to unlock one piece of content what? so if a hundred people are paying two thousand dollars like and there was 146 people who had liked it, which means 146 people actually paid that $2,000. And that was for one video. I think it was a three minute video or something like that. So that is, she's not South African, that person who I'm speaking of, but that's like, I don't even know the kind of stuff she could be putting there. I couldn't even do my research and pay $2,000 just to see. Which, like I cannot afford that, but there's people in the world who really can. 
um, there's a girl who, um, like I said, a friend of mine's a manager and he um, has been managing someone only recently, but she was a, a prostitute, a sex worker. Mm. And she decided she was tired of actually physically engaging with people. Mm. So she t- turned like and changed to only fans, but she already had a market and already had a fan base and they all subscribe to her only fans. They tip her ridiculous amounts of money and she's made about 1.4 million Rand. Wow. Um, she's, and that's over and above in terms of her savings. That's over and above living her everyday lifestyle and since 2018 and two years. So yeah, I'm, I'm nothing in comparison. And I know when you first started, you said you'd never do anything on camera with sex toys. But then yeah. You ended up doing that. <laughs> what changed? What changed? Was it the pressure? I think it was, yeah, definitely, definitely the pressure. Um, but also getting bored with my own content. Like, I'm so used to putting out nudes that I was just like, oh, am I really just going to continue putting out nudes? Like, what else can I do? But what I found is like, or rather my niche is that I enjoy dancing. Like, and a lot of people know me, like to know that I enjoy dancing. So I dance a lot in my underwear. I dance a lot naked, but it feels comfortable for me. So it seems very authentic. And um, a lot of people like seeing me in my like natural habitat and just comfortable. Um, All the professional pictures that I've taken with like photographers and stuff, they don't want that. Mm. They don't want, they want it as amateur as possible. So yeah. Yeah. It feels like more girl next door. Mm. Um, Like you're just sending this to me or, you know, it feels quite personal. Personal. Whereas Mm. when it's professionally taken, it's just like, mm, it's a bit unattainable. What are some of the most absurd things people have asked you to do? Oh no, like I, like on my YouTube channel, I said, my, you know, you set the tone for what your subscribers should expect. So I, um, the most I've been asked is to have sex on camera and the more frequent, what? They're couples who are only on OnlyFans making ridiculous amounts of money, like crazy money, um, as couples. Because that's what people really want to see. Like, they want to see what you guys are doing in your bedroom. It's, like, people are nosy. They're fickle. They are, you know, easy. Um, they don't want to have to go on Pornhub where they know every single person is going on Pornhub. They want to feel like it's special or intimate. So, so if, I, if, I'm in this, if I'm actually, a subscriber and I'm in this chat room, or whatever it's called, do I tell the couple what to do, what I want them to do? No. Oh. No. So imagine Instagram. It literally is Instagram. When you scroll through a timeline, you'll scroll through my timeline and you'll see pictures, you'll see videos, or you'll see just a status. And I've made, I had to make a public service announcement saying, I will not be having sex on camera. Please can people stop asking? And if that's not something that you, if that's something that you expected, now's your time to unsubscribe because you have the opportunity to subscribe monthly. Like they, they prompt you to subscribe again. So it's not like it's a, just a recurring subscription, which is good because you can decide maybe this month, I don't want to subscribe because you've been boring this month and then next month come back. A lot of people have done that. Like they'll see the hype over like one of my posts and then all of a sudden my like subscribers will peak and then I'll be like, ah, Gandhi, you only added one video since I left. <laughs> I'm like, well, who told you to be fickle? You only like things because now everyone's <laughs> making a fuss over it. But it's fine. I've got you 150 rand for the month. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> wait till next month. <laughs> but I mean, so, yeah, it's, it's, you, a, it's a game. You also said that you won't do any sex toys. So I think there's hope because you, you, know, you did do yeah. that. And so obviously there's, there's going to be a complete like, elevation of my brand as I go along. I, I think I um, restrain or rather keep a lot f- away from people so that there's something more that I can give tomorrow. Because if I do everything all at once, like then I'm just going to be repeating the same thing. There's literally only so much that I'm willing to do. So I have to like pace myself. Um, what if, but again, however what much your- money I could potentially make, I might, you know, reconsider Okay, so let's go through some of the things you would not do right now and some of the things that you possibly might do. What about a threesome? Would you do that? I mean, I've done that in my own personal capacity, but I don't think I'd record it. I wouldn't feel... Was it two girls or two (sighs) girls? You know what? A lot of people... It was two girls. A lot of people are asking for girl-on-girl action. And I'm just like... "Mm." 
I think that would be easier than with than like with a with a guy because then it would just be like me chilling, having fun or whatever. Um, but when it's with a guy, then it feels like I'm in a porno and like I'm not on Pornhub. I don't want to be on Pornhub. That's not, that's literally not why I'm on this platform. I did it because I want to feel liberated and feel like there's a place where I can put out content that makes me feel good without restrictions and get paid for it. Obviously the money is a big plus, but yeah. Okay. So threesome wouldn't do girl to girl action. You do. Okay. What about yeah. sex toys? In your I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I think I would. Yeah, mm. even if it's from far, I think what what I with my content, it's quite at a distance. You're not seeing inside my soul through my vagina. Do you know what I mean? Like it's from a distance. So it also like sparks or piques your imagination for you to do the rest of the work, as opposed to just putting it all out there. Um, so yeah, I think I, I could do that. Are there? Any, do you have any famous subscribers? Like famous people that we might know. Like famous as in they subscribe to me. To yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> laugh. I can expose them. <laughs> like celebs, yeah. Yeah, you kidding. <laughs> like there's, yeah, there's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. I was never expecting that question. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's a few rappers like, so that, okay, not a few, like. Yeah, there's, there's, there's people. <laughs> okay, give, give us one rapper who's not relevant that no one cares about. I'm not going to do that because one, then I'm answering who I think is not relevant. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to put me in a trap. <laughs> and two, <laughs> yeah. what if they listen? Because they literally follow everything I do. I'll put something on Instagram and they'll go and listen. Then I'll put something on like, on, I'll say I've got an interview on SABC One and they'll go and watch. So they actually, chances are they might hear this. So I'm not trying to expose anybody. Mm. A lot of people's boyfriends are there. Let me just say, like, a lot of, like, couple goals. <laughs> that, <laughs> and I, I always wonder, when I, when I see, and it's crazy when I see their real names or mm. when they come in my DMs and say, I like your post today. And I'm just like, I'm post today. What do you mean? This is Instagram. And then I'm like, oh, so maybe you mean only fans. Because when I think about that, I'm just like, is it that I am a fantasy? Is it that they that they can't necessarily create this fantasy with their girlfriends, but they can, and none of them are actually willing to try. It's just so much easier to box your girlfriend or your partner in a specific like view um, of, you know, the good girl. And then put Lindy, who's like still close and still attainable, but um, in a different box of, Ooh, that's where the holidays at. And you can literally do that with your partner too, but it's fine. I'm okay. Taking your money. <laughs> it's all about the money, man. <laughs> I think if I thought of it any other way, my morals would completely override every single thing I do. Like, if I thought, oh no, so and so's boyfriend's following me, I would be, I'd feel bad because I also smile with this chiquita and I'm like, I know your man has seen me in a completely different view. Like, and when I'm greeting them at, at events or whatever, I like, I would feel too cringy, but I just yeah. have to think, oh, it's just money. It's just money. Do you have a boyfriend? I don't. Oh, okay. But have you ever had yeah. one since you've started this, like, uh, OnlyFans? I have. And how I was have. that? How was, the, how was the relationship? Perfectly fine. I asked him a lot if he could, like, I think I was really considering the, and letting another person in, in terms of my content. Um, because I had someone, because I had a partner, you know, but um, he wasn't too comfortable with it, but he recorded me a lot. Was he a rapper? So, no, <laughs> no, I don't date rappers. <laughs> That's like dating a DJ. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so i'm mean, like yeah he's recorded me but what i've also realized is that i feed off other people's energy so i need someone else in the room to kind of for it to be as authentic as possible the moment i'm by myself i'm just like oh this is so boring like that's when i take most of my nudes but when it comes to videos i can't just put a plunk of light and put a like phone there and then bring a toy out. I don't like toys generally. So it takes a lot for me to actually 
make it look real when I'm putting it on camera if no one else is in the room. Uh, tell me about, because um, I've been uh, on YouTube for a minute and mm -hmm. so have you. And uh, you, you did a video about how to give a blowjob and it hit more than a million views. That must have been life changing. Yeah. I don't know what it's like to hit a million views, but I can imagine. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's, it's crazy to think that a million times this video was clicked. Hmm. Like there's a million times where this video, or not even clicked, where, you know, it fell upon someone's like, you know, the next video up and people actually watched it to the end. So the, the, like the clicks are easy or not necessarily easy to get, but it's whether people watch right through to the end. And I have people from all walks of life, from like, I'm talking Muslim girls wow. to married women to 11 year olds. And that's when I started freaking out because I'm like, I thought this was age restricted. Now I've got an 11 year old saying, oh my gosh, I'm 11. Why am I watching this? But I watched <laughs> till the end. And I'm like, ah! this is crazy what is your mother thinking and like i don't want parents to think i'm being reckless you know um they should they should be searching for this information based on the fact that maybe it was recommended at school but not because i have been irresponsible um by not putting an age restriction so i got that sorted but like a lot of people the like different people men um and majority of the feedback wasn't crass it wasn't like dirty it was like wow i actually really enjoyed this and you know yeah i teach these girls and some people were even asking how do i get my girlfriend to watch this video without her thinking that i'm you know i'm thinking of you in some, some type of way and i'd give them advice i'd be like okay so this is what you can do you can literally say that you saw my link on um twitter or whatever and say let's watch it together even though you've already watched it but, and then I'd have to remind them now to delete this comment because if they go through these comments, they're going to know that you asked for advice on how to get your girlfriend to watch. But yeah, I'd give advice and, <laughs> and work gets their girlfriends watching and then you're pretending that you're just interested in like, oh baby, I saw this link. Let's watch this. Let's see what it's about. Now you're watching it together and intrigued together as opposed to the boyfriend saying, you need to do this because egos can be bruised. But can you show us though, how do you suck dick valley? I'm definitely not going to, I wouldn't even be able, and I do have toys, but I'm not going to definitely, I'm definitely not going to show that. Why not? Like subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> I don't even do that on my OnlyFans. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Just a sneak peek. I can't even tell you to go to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hit a million views, yo. <laughs> I'm trying to hit a million views. <laughs> You're leveraging off me. <laughs> I will not show you that because I think that, um, also, it's just it's not the same with the with silicone or plastic. Um, also, it's not the same with every person. You when on my video, I don't give you a specific method or a specific like manual on what you should do. I give you different things that you can look out for because different things apply to different human beings. Um, so, where one guy may like extra tip sensation another guy might like teabagging so you just have to feed off the person that you are engaging with and it's not the same for every single person so yeah yeah but there's a lot of girls out there that could do with your tips man some of these girls don't know what they're doing yeah but also at the same time men don't they don't know how to say it in a way that is communicative so mm -hmm. if you are in the moment and you say, no, 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 go back and do that. She'll know that you like that, you know, mm. as opposed to saying, wow, that girl's useless <laughs> and then killing their self-esteem. And then they're not going to want to engage again. And the less they engage, the how, how they're going to get better. Practice mm. makes perfect. So you also have to um, like be responsible for your own pleasure because I know what I, what gets me going. Um, but you're not going to know that off the bat. Obviously, there's going to have to be a lot of engagement or a lot of times where we're trying different things for you to be like, oh, I, I saw her toes curl when I did this. But you're never going to know if I'm also not giving you the right signs. And that's through body language and speaking. Like communication is so important. So you can't just say, girl's useless. Yeah, girl, that girl needs your tips. No, she won't also know. It's not like we're born with this knowledge. Mine was also a lot of trial and error until eventually I kind of realized, okay, these are the things that I've noticed work generally. So you did a lot of practicing. 
um, from 2014, that's when I feel I discovered my sexual liberation because until then I was just like, only with like one boyfriend or one partner. And I was, I only knew one way of doing things um, mm. until one day I was with some guy and I didn't even feel like the next morning it wasn't a typical and it wasn't a one night stand, but it was a first time once off thing. And I was like, Oh, I'm not expecting a phone call from this guy. Mm. I'm not even phased mm. that he's not messaging me. And I'm like, that, but it was great. Like, you know, it was a really great experience. So I'm like, so this is what guys go through because guys can engage sexually with their, with other people. And it doesn't take away from the love that you have for your girlfriend or for your partner. It doesn't take away from your attraction. It's just a different type. And that's literally where I also opened up my mind. I was like, it's just a different type. Like, I'm enjoying this and I don't expect anything more. Um, so it made my encounters a lot less. Um, I didn't have high expectations. So I was hardly ever disappointed. I was going, getting mine, and then we were done. Or I was getting it again and again, but not expecting a continuous relationship. And it also made me less naggy. It made me feel like I wasn't like, oh my gosh, this guy doesn't want to be my boyfriend. And I didn't play on my insecurities. It was just, it was great. And, and then how- it was too great. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. And then how has society <laughs> taken to this in terms of like dear friends that now uh, see you differently because you're not only fans or do you have guys that think less of you? Um, I think, look, uh, because... This is a lifestyle. It's not a phase. It's not something that has just popped up out of nowhere. It's taken a gradual duration of time for people to actually get used to the kind of person that I am. But now people expect it. Like it's no, it's no big deal that mm. Lindy's on OnlyFans because it's Lindy. You know, like oh yeah, we're, we're not shocked. Whereas if it was one of my other friends, it'd be like whoa, but this is so unlike you. Um, what just made you decide to do this? Um, so I think, and it's, it's in everything I do. It's in what I speak. Like if you look at my Twitter timeline, I talk, a lot, I talk about a lot of sex. I speak freely about my sex. It's not something that I'm um, keeping for, you know, only when certain topics are raised. I'm literally consistently speaking on these things. Um, and on top of that, I'm also informing people. I'm educating them. So people are not surprised when I come up with something new because it's also um, to kind of educate myself. Like Mm. the more questions I get, the more like research I have to do and the more I'm learning and then just relaying that information. So it's not a surprise. Um, A lot of my friends aren't surprised that this is the person that I am or that I've even started in OnlyFans. Um, They wouldn't be surprised with the next thing I decided. If I had a whole like porn site, they, they wouldn't be surprised. Wow, I can see. But there are some that are judgy. Mm, you know, because we live in a very judgmental mm. society. You know, we do. And, but it's you know, of, South Africans are very conservative. Too. Yes, very. Yeah. Really. But I think that's why this is the perfect market for me because that's where I'd see the big change. That's where I'd see the most change if if I were to say I fall under the category of influencer because. There's so many people like who were not posting news or um, sexy kind of pics in 2014. And a lot of girls shunned me for it. And those same girls now are saying, oh, quarantine and out there showing their, their booties. And I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> Look at how the times have changed, you know? So like as much as I, I'm not going to like claim that that was my influence, but I did start a bit of a movement in terms of letting girls know that it's okay to feel that free and to be that way. And I noticed that in the fact that girls were sending me their nudes, um, which means you take it, you just don't feel confident enough to post on the Mm. timeline like I am. But I mean, if I'm posting myself and putting myself out there vulnerable, like vulnerably like that, then chances are I'm not going to expose you or make you feel some type of way. So they trusted me with their nudes. Um, And then slowly but surely, they started trusting themselves to put it out there a little bit more. So... Yeah, it worked. Okay, so I'm a girl. I'm watching this right now. I'm like, fuck, man. I got a banging ass body. I want to go in this OnlyFans thing. I want to make 60K. Mm -hmm. What are some of the warning signs or disadvantages about OnlyFans that you think young girls out there should be wary of? 
okay, the disadvantages or rather what girls should be wary of is chasing money. Um, the moment you start to chase money, you start to compromise what you would or wouldn't do. Mm. Um, I think it's really important to have a set of rules that you go by and stick to them. So I know if someone's saying, uh, please, can you, I don't know, send me a video of you playing with yourself. That's personally for me. I don't do that. I don't do that. Whatever you see on the timeline, everyone else is going to see. Unless I'm like giving like a 30 second snippet because it does make me feel awkward. I don't want to put three minutes of myself like in that way on the timeline. So I'll put like 30 seconds and then I'll charge you extra if you're going to have the full video because what are the chances of you paying $35 for a three minute video? You want, but you've seen a snippet. You know that if you're doing that in just 30 seconds, imagine what you're doing for the th- full three minutes. But only a handful of people are willing to pay that on top of their already existing monthly subscription because people have commitment issues. People also, majority of my subscribers are South African. And let's be honest, South African men are stingy with their money. So <laughs> they, <laughs> they really are. <laughs> So the, they, um, they're probably not going to pay the $35, which means they won't have access to me in that vulnerable way. Not so many people. I can count like on my hand how many people actually have the full video. To be able to even screen record or you know, make me feel like I can't trust you or whatever. So um, I would say, yeah, I have a set of rules. Stick to them. Um, don't compromise on what it is that you say you wouldn't do unless it's something or a next step that you're trying to take to elevate your brand or elevate your content or whatever. Um, I would say know your niche, know exactly what it is that you're going in there to do. Girls, um, the people with toe fetishes, there's people with um, breast fetishes, like know exactly what it is and the kind of market that you're trying to um, acquire but make sure that it's authentic because it's something you're going to consistently have to do. So it's not like it's an, an acting job where, you know, it's a commercial and then you're done. It's consistent for as long as you have the, the profile. So, um, yeah, that would basically be my tips. It sounds like you're talking about YouTube. Oh, and There's consistency. Literally no difference, and consistency. Eh? There is no difference. There's literally no difference. Like people unsubscribe to my um to my only fans and you, you're actually allowed to give reasons and the reason they are always giving me is that i'm inconsistent i don't post enough but for me i've decided i'm i'm not even going to ch- all i know is that i need to have a minimum of 50 subscribers and if i am having 50 people paying 10 dollars a month that is 500 dollars a month that is enough for me you know wow. but a lot of people want more and the when you once you get more you become hungry for more um, so I, two seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, uh, like a lot of people, because you become hungry for more and you're chasing the wrong things, you eventually get to a point where like, you're having sex. Okay, you are, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that was never really part of the plan. Like the whole reason that I believe in only fans is that you're doing it alone in the comfort of your bedroom at any point. So like, don't I, I think chances of me like bringing someone in are very very unlikely because that's not really what I enjoy about only fans but do, there do, are people who can leverage off that do some of your subscribers take it too far like maybe they want to date you or want to marry you and stuff or become uh, your blesser yeah, like, well not not date me no none of them have asked to be my blesser but like I got a phone. I don't know if you saw my timeline. I got a phone. I got an iPhone 11 Pro. Hey, hey no. Hey, no. 56 gigs. <laughs> now I'm saying max. <laughs> and that's a 30,000 rand gift. I got that from one of my OnlyFans subscribers. He's also the same guy who tipped me $500 just Damn. on a nude. On a nude. Not even like a video where I'm doing something what I deem as hectic. So I think there's people... Out there, but so you're an essential again, worker right now. Someone, I'm an essential worker right now. <laughs> <laughs> I fall under the essential worker category. I'm there, like 
But at the same time, I've posted twice this month. We're coming to the end of the month and I've posted twice and people are not happy because they're like, now's the time where you should be giving us extra mm. because we all have time. But I'm not feeling sexy. I'm unwaxed. I'm not like, this is the last, the last thing on my mind is to go there and create content that's going to make you guys feel good about yourselves because I don't feel good about myself and I'm not going to compromise on that. Yeah. So as much as you're saying I'm inconsistent and I don't put out enough content, that's also okay. You can unsubscribe, but I'm not going to put out content when I don't feel like I'm going to give you content that's on my level or that's my standard. So it's a win-lose situation in certain instances, but um, yeah, I kind of, like I said, I'm not chasing the money. The money is really nice, mm. but the moment I make it about, oh no, I, the moment it becomes a job, then I feel like I'm working for the man again. Do you, see the, do you think there's a longevity in this? Um, not for myself, if I'm being honest, not for myself. I don't see myself doing this for a really long time. I'm already bored with my content. So, I mean, you can only do so much with your bums. Exactly. But I mean, I've got a new plan. I've got a new strategy, a new content plan, which I am really excited about, but it's more a (laughs) self-love, um, like, okay, let me tell you what it is. So. Mm. I'm going to do videos and I'm going to be like videos of myself doing whatever, but I'm going to do voiceovers over the videos. Mm. So I think that will encourage myself to love myself more. So I'll be like, Oh girl, Oh, you like hey. it like that. Like, you know what? I'm just like, I'm like feeding off my own energy. Mm. And that's where I, that's where I'm, I'm kind of at right now, but it's, but that's more erotic type stuff. So I'm trying to like change the narrative of what it is that I'm putting out there. Whereas because someone said, Oh, you've got a really sexy voice. And I was like, I don't think so. But I mean, my voice over my content will definitely work. Um, so that's the plan. And if I see myself in that way and I'm trying to put myself on, like I'm hyping myself, then I'll actually start to love those bits about me. I'll start to love those parts about me um, that make me feel a bit awkward when I'm putting it out there. So that's the plan. I hope it works. Yeah, man. I really think you're a strong woman, man. Because, you know, a lot of ladies I know, they're so, um, um, they care a lot about their bodies. And so what's the word I'm looking for? Um, conservative yeah and the thing is they're not confident like yourself to put it yeah, out there they lack self-esteem yes you know so it takes a lot of confidence for you to do that you know uh, do you do you think you're actually like- showing my face yeah um a lot of girls don't show their faces but i think that works for me it works to my advantage because they one it makes it feel more real and two i've already got people who um who've seen me on other social media platforms so now it's just putting an action to um a face or personality and that comes through in the content i put out there so they like talking to me if anything i think my dms are more conversations that i'm having with people who i don't even like no mm. because they like the personality aspect as opposed to just all the stuff like the content that I'm putting on my timeline so I talk to a lot of people in my DMs which makes me think maybe I could just change it to you know like let me be your online girlfriend and, yeah. <laughs> and like let's you know start an online relationship because that's that I feel would be more comfortable for me because I can have a hundred boyfriends. I'm really good at like dividing my attention and making sure that I'm picking up on the different things that work sure, for Jezebel. you. And, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but, um, obviously that's not, it's shunned upon. Like it's yeah. like, I always say if I could have three or four boyfriends, it would work for me. It would mm. work because I get different things from different people. But those four boyfriends would all be just like, it goes bruised and blah 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 so yeah i think they the fact that i'm showing my face works to my advantage because it also um, adds to the personality that they're already getting like my character i think on the fans is, is revolutionary man that's why i had to call you and get more about it because i mean number one like you're saying you know you're safe you know controlled environment you don't have a pimp you know although girls are getting scammed really easily through only fans it's oh. very sad i'm i'm seeing a lot of um testimonies of girls who have 
gotten their managers or people they think are managing them and they're paying them a certain admin fee for them to just, mm-hmm. because they've got lots of followers or whatever. And they'll say, Oh, I'll promote your stuff on my timeline. Mm-hmm. But then they'll say, send me your nudes. Now you're sending these nudes and they know who exactly who, who these nudes and who, which profiles belong to which girls. And then later on, they're demanding more money and they're saying, okay, well, you know, I, I know you're making so much money because you've got this many subscribers. So I want more money. And then they're blackmailing them with the content that they initially used to help them. Um, so it's, it's scary. Also because people are just out there chasing the money, you can fall into so many different traps and you don't know what's out there. And I think that's why I did the YouTube video because mm. you need to know that there's so many dangers that are attached to being a part of something that, is seen um, as easy to take advantage of you, you know, like they think because you're doing this kind of stuff for money, then you're stupid yeah. because you're stupid. Then I can mm-hmm. easily, you know, take get advantage. stuff from mm-hmm. you. Um, yeah. 100%. So um, I wanted girls to know that they don't have to do that. And the friend of mine who's managing girls literally says, I'm going to do it for three months. And how he does it is he just kind of gets you off your feet He's saying um, he doesn't even vet your content. It's more um, assisting in strategy, you know, and then saying, okay, now you need to post today. You need to post every two days, maybe post a nude versus a video, simple, simple management. And then says, okay, now I've got you on your feet and you're seeing that the followers are coming up. He mostly manages their social media accounts to get the promotion going. He doesn't have their profile details, but he will get like, let's say he'll start off at like 500 rand. Mm. But if you are making 12,000 rand on top of your nine to five, 500 grand is absolutely nothing. So he's only doing it for three months. And then after that, you should be able to manage your own stuff because you know exactly what it is that you need to put in. So that I think, and it's also contractual based. Um, initially it wasn't but i told him make it more business um give the girls an agreement or a contract so that they know that you're not exploiting them and vice versa um or you're not going to potentially use the content that they may give you against them in the long run and all of that make them feel safe and that they they can trust you so it's working for him and everyone who's coming to me i'm just kind of referring them to him because it's also from a man's perspective and the man is the client if we're being realistic so um what is it that a a man's advice will do to change your content um and it really really works so he's perfect for them shit man lindy uh we're almost out of time but thank you so much uh where can people check you out youtube uh only fans what's going on okay so only fans and all social media platforms is lindy underscore r um, and then on YouTube, it is Touch My Yoni. Nice. And if ever, uh, if all fails and I need to start an OnlyFans account, I'll give you a shout so you can let me know it works. You do that. So, like, I can literally, like, coach you through it. Like I said, I'm a sexual wellness coach. I can coach you through it from the beginning right through to the end. <laughs> but I don't have much to show. So I just want to have sex, man. Three sims, everything, whatever you got. Yeah, but then, I mean, obviously, what's going to make your content better? Like, what's going to make yours better than Pornhub? You need to have something that makes you special. And ah, so a DJ is not it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lindy, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. And I think we... Awesome, we, thanks for having me. Um, maybe we can do this again. Like, after lockdown, I'd love to chat with you and some other OnlyFans um, people that you might know that do the same thing that you kind of do. Sure. I find it fascinating, man. It's like, it's it's crazy. Who would have thought this would happen? It's so weird. I know. And it's the last thing that I thought would happen to me. Like, I didn't even want to start this, but now I'm just like, I just got a new phone. I got 66,000 rand. Who would have thunk? So, yeah. But thank you for having me. You do you, man. Thank you so much, Lindy. For more information, visit www.workbox.co.za. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.